Hello everybody, it's the Ash Heritor, and we're back with Darkest Dungeon 2. Hope you all are doing well, and uh, make sure to drop this a like if you're enjoying the Darkest Dungeon content. But, uh, so let's get on with it. Remember we started a new party with uh, Plague Doctor, Jester, the Runaway, and the Hellion, so with all the new characters except for the Plague Doctor, because Ounce of Prevention is very good. Though it did get nerfed, which is probably a good thing. Um, they did patch this game, and actually one of the things they did was do a bit of a rebalance over some of the uh, skills that were too good, and Ounce of Prevention is one of them. Um, let's, let's quickly see if we can actually um, tell what that does now. So Ounce of Prevention... Yeah, so it now you need to have five or more stress for it to reduce stress. It's still good. Uh, this isn't a crippling nerf. Um, however, <laughs> it's a little bit less ridiculous. Um, so it's probably a good thing. Uh, they also rebalanced um, how the uh, friendship or relationship procs come up. So it isn't like you're going to get a relationship bark with every single action, because that really slowed the pacing down and was pretty annoying, especially when it was bad relationship stuff. So now what they've done is they've made it so that there are much fewer of them, but they're much more meaningful, which is good. I'm, I'm glad that they addressed that. But, um, yeah, let's get on with this. We're in the sprawl, the nice burning, fiery place of death. Um... Speaking of which, do we have any items? I don't think we had all that many items um, that are going to be very useful here. So we've got the clear corpses item. We've got some in items. All right, and this is ah, this is a crit trinket. I will actually give this to the Hellion. Let her do some crits. All right, now let's get on with this business. Unfortunately, Bonnie here is probably not going to be all that useful. With uh, you know what? Hold on. I am going to give her the clear corpses thing. Alright, let's just, you know, blindly run forward in the uh, the cart here, not looking where we're going. Always a great idea. Let's see what we end up getting. Um, so we did actually have... Um, oh, man. Yeah, see, this is what happens when we blindly... <laughs> Alright, you know what? This is fine, actually. I'm, I'm okay with uh, going straight. Get assistance uh, encounter. We're at 91 torch, so. Let's see if we can uh, Tokyo drift through that uh, burning pile. Alright, here we go. Assistance encounters. We might be able to get some stuff from this. Alright. Budica, uh, you want to be heroes, which will give us 15 more torch. Paracelsus, uh, you want to rob them. No, we're not gonna rob them, okay? We'll get some stale bread and some apples and cheese. It's fine. Uh, it's not all that useful. But hey, we got the torch up to 100. And we got an academic study ahead and unfortunately a, a road battle. So we need to do no more than three of these. Uh, in order to get the bonus quest. I really wish there was a way that you could uh, control that a little bit more. Alright. Um, yeah, no one's going to be affected by Inspiring Tomb because no one has any stress. You have Holy Water. We've got Battle Ballad. Nah. Not useful at the moment. But we could... What can we do? We could start bleeding them. Let's bleed the guy in the middle. Let's slice off. Alright. Give him a, uh, a bleed of three. A low blow. Rude. Ow. Okay. Stop it with the Hellion. Ugh. Not good. Yeah, as it turns out, they're kind of mean at uh, long range. Uh, what's the bleed here? Only two? That's fine. Um, what I want to do is blinding gas these two. I don't have them... Uh... Will you stop with... Oh my god. They just... They, they don't like her, apparently. Again! <laughs> Everybody after Hellion. Jesus. Yeah. This, uh... <laughs> okay. What do we do here? Let's, uh, sear him. I want to take one of these guys down, so it'll, he'll be taking five damage per round. Isn't quite enough. Uh, and you're going again? Oh, it's top of the round. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this will get us... Or it'll just kill him straight up. Alright. So, again, on the Hellion. 
thankful that they missed, but what is what is happening here? They've attacked her with every single attack. <laughs> um Yeah, let's kinda wanna start blinding them here. And Plague Doctor Yeah. She needs some medicine. She's not looking too good. Okay, that's fine. Blinds are amazing. Just wanna point that out. Not not broken, I feel. Just just good. Alright, this'll taunt. No, we don't we don't want her to taunt. Um we don't want to do that either. We could uh if it bleeds on him. Sounds good. No, nope, he resisted. Unfortunate. Um, you could run and hide. Nah. With the searing strike. Uh, you resisted the burning as well, of course. Um, we can actually... Here's a good time for a plate grenade. Get some blights on both of them. Get a little bit of damage going. They're still just... Only attacking Hellion. Okay, finally. Someone attacks somebody else. Hold on. Alright, if it bleeds again. Um, so you're taking three, you're at five, this'll, uh, alright. He's, he's dead either way. Next turn. Shell shock. Okay, stripped off tokens, did some stress. Uh, so battle. No. What? No, really, why is this condition blocked? Requires target stress 5 plus. So do all of the stress reducing abilities require stress 5 plus? Because that's... That I don't like. Because there's no ways to then prevent the, like, negative relationship barks aside from, like, using laudanum. Or using some of the self-de-stressing abilities that only certain characters have. Like, I understand why they did it for Plague Doctor's Ounce of Prevention, because it's a party stress reduction. But for, like... Individual stress heals. Like inspiring tune, I feel like they could reduce the stress requirement. Maybe it's with masteries it reduces the stress requirement. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Um, let's move him forward. Give him a, uh, a dodge token. He is dead. Alright. Thank you for not attacking Hellion. Not a fan of this combo business, though. Alright, what can you do? Um, nah. Stab him with the fire poker. Alright, he'll be dead soon. And then we can, um, you know, we can't slice off. Unfortunate. Um, yeah, if we bring him to the front, that's gonna put her too far back. So let's actually bring her to the front. Battle Ballad. Nice, she's got plus 25% damage. So we'll be doing plus 70% damage on her next attack. Um, let's heal her again. We've got three uses of this. Might as well, uh, keep our health high. And at this point... Ugh. Brutal. Alright. Oh, we can Iron Swan him. Oh, this will be great. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, I love Iron Swan. <laughs> Final round. Yeah, we should... We should have this. Good job, Hellion. She got hurt bad, but she dished out some pain in... ...in response. So did the runaway, for that matter. Alright, uh, okay. That's cool. Chance of purging negative quirks and, uh, stress reduction. And doesn't seem to have any relationship requirements either. Um, on these, uh, weird totemy thingies. Alright. Now, so, yeah, we just go ahead and we get to an academic study, which will give us stuff. I think. Okay, they're losing relationship, of course. Can't have nice things. Not in Darkest Dungeon, though, you know, we did win. Ooh, Slime Mold! Yay! Trash it. God. The environments are really nice, gotta say. What does this do again? I can't remember. Okay, so we get to... It smells like must and cockroaches. Yeah, so she doesn't want to get anything from here. Bah! Spells are just fancy verses if you ask me, so... What does this mean? So, chance of getting trinkets? The chance of... 
I guess it's a chance of gaining or losing stress and a chance of gaining or losing quirks. Or gaining a positive or negative quirk. You want to leave. No, I want to see what we get here. Alright. Occultomania. Minus 10 to the flame. Eager to ply his trade. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Uh, a little bit too late for that. Like, that would have been nice to have. <laughs> um, we're going to want to go left. Because I don't think that counts as a road battle, but not sure. I mean, you'd have less road battles. It's a resistance encounter. Yeah, through the burning city. And, alright, it's gonna be a, uh, a desperate few. Survivor encounter. Alright, Bonnie, you want to trade some relics to get more torch, more food, more stuff, and a potential coach upgrade. A cheerful fire and some ale is all these folks need. Um, no, we don't want to lose anything from the torch. Better to steal from kings, but I'm hungry. No, we're not gonna steal from them. I hope we can find... Purchase. That mud looks viscous. What? I'm gonna gain torch? Chance of quirks? No, we're gonna go with Bonnie here. Alright, and uh, Paracelsus likes that. Nice. Very nice. Okay, we got some good good combat items. And some more healing stuff for uh, the next inn. If we make it to the next inn. Which we, you know, we probably will. I, I have high hopes. Um, but alright, so we got some combat items. Um, so you, you got the bleed. You have the... Remove negative tokens. You have corpse clearing. I don't really feel like we need that. Um, I'm going to give her the laudanum. And uh, Hellion, you can take the healing salves. We do have a, uh, a burn salve. That might be better. Yeah, I'm going to give this to Plague Doctor, actually, because we are... That being said, like we're in the sprawl where there's lots of burning going on, but at the same time, there's also bandits which do bleed. So I'm actually going to remove the, uh, get rid of the holy water, because that might be useful elsewhere. And we got a new trinket, plus 10% blight resist. I'm just going to give it to the uh, jester, because he has no trinkets. Yeah. And uh, let's let's carry on. Let's not, not encounter any more road. There's stuff on the road, hopefully. Watchtower reveals the paths ahead. Um, this is a cultist encounter. Reduce loathing. Alright. Okay. Paracelsus and Sonamenti are uh, forming a bond. We found some more slime mold. Wonderful. I just love slime mold. Don't you just love getting up in the morning and, uh, you know, going into your fridge and finding the slime mold and snacking on it? It's just delightful. Alright. I don't think this counts as a road battle. Alright, um... Okay, we seems like we just want to fight them, so let's... Let's fight them. It'll reduce our loathing. Or the loathing. And we can get some stuff. Hey, and it's only a three-person fight. Uh, so... Top priority is Stiltwalker. He's scary. Um, okay, so now we have somebody... That has... Stress. So we're gonna use Inspiring Tune. Very nice flourish. I really like that. <laughs> this does a different one. Okay, that was Slice Off. Oh no, that was uh, Fade to Black. This is Slice Off. He's getting his sickle ready and Razor's Wit. Wow, they're really all unique. That's... No, they're not. Okay. These two are the same. Because I guess they're uh, knife related. But this is clearly sickle related. But then the two instrument ones are unique. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, let's uh, give her an inspiring tune. Remove some stress. Respectful! Good. Good. And you get a, uh, a crit. Oh, damn. Ignores 20% of resistance, huh? Well, they have good burn resist, but if I'm ignoring 20% of it, I'm thinking I'm just going to stab him with a fire poker. And I'm going to hit this one because he has the chance to dodge it. And I don't want to uh, have my crit be wasted. Nice. Well struck indeed. That was a good hit. It was good damage, and we got a five-turn bleed going. All right, you can... I mean, 
ounce of prevention still isn't a bad idea because they dish out burns, but I don't think they're going to be dishing out burns just yet. They need to, like, ember up, so to speak, to use uh, Dark Souls terminology. Um, what are you going to do? You can hit things. I guess we're just taking this guy out first. Because you have a dodge token. The flame spreads. Alright, so now you're going to be doing burning stuff. Okay. Whip trip. Alright, that's fine. Okay, so that's movement. That, uh... That... That icon. I guess I'm only just realizing that now for some reason. Alright, uh... So I can move forward self with Razor's Wit. You're taking two damage, you have five health left, let's uh, get rid of him. Get myself a dodge token, always good. And now, we can Noxious Blast him, or at least get... Right, he had a repost, but at least we got that off. I don't know if that was a great idea to use that, use that on uh, Plague Doctor. Because uh, she doesn't have the best health in the world. You're a survivor. Okay, these two, uh, they like each other. Which is, which is good. Um... What can we get here? Smoke screen. Smoke screen isn't a bad idea. We can blind him. No. We missed. But, we got rid of his token. What technique? I'm taking notes. Well, don't take notes of the failure, please. But, wow, that got rid of all of their stress. Or all of her stress. And I think all of her stress. I don't know if she had stress. I don't think she had much if she did. Let's, uh, let's start wailing on him. The flame spreads. Yes. Alright. It's fine. Um, so, now you can... I actually think I want to have him go in the front, so that we can use her, um, backline burn ability, because it's quite good if I remember Firefly. Yeah, it's a... Three burn. Nice. True teamwork. Does that count as two hits, or just one? Alright. Two, yeah, all right, we stripped off both tokens there, that's cool. Um, so we can use Battlefield Medicine on her now, because she's below half health, and we'll remove that bleed. Sounds good. Um, let's try and take this horrible Stiltwalker creature out fast. The flame spreads. Ouch. Stab. It's pain. Um, no one's at below half health, so you know what? See if we can get rid of him. Nope, he resisted. Unfortunate. Um, but this should ought to do it. Very good. Firefly. Yeah, that's a good ability. Impressed? Oh yeah. Alright, these two are, uh... Alright, everybody likes Runaway. That's good. I like Runaway. She's cool. I like her aesthetic. <laughs> like the, the, the frazzled, very, just kind of like, looking sketchy in every direction. Frazzled hair, just using whatever the hell she found as a weapon. Big pack of supplies, probably, you know, a pack rat taking everything she needs. Which, you know, as like a runaway orphan, you're probably going to need to take everything you need. Yeah, it's just co cool, cool, new, cool new character. I, I like her. And as far as I understand, somebody's working on modding her into uh, Darkest Dungeon 1. Which, I think at some point I will play Darkest Dungeon 1 on the channel. Like a heavily modded Darkest Dungeon 1. No anime mods, thank you. <laughs> Just ones that fit with the aesthetic. <laughs> oh my god. Never seen them do that before. Lesson learned! Don't leave them to last. Ow! It's a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, um, so that's stun resist, which, uh, yeah, stun is horrible. Okay. We. Got ourselves pretty beaten up. Let's see if we can find a hospital anywhere. Yes, now it festers. Will it go silent if we do another encounter with the loathing? Alright, but we got, um... We got some trinkets. Stun resist? I'm gonna just put it on her, I guess. Again, it doesn't really matter who we put what on. Yeah, not, none of the combat items I want to switch out. Oh yeah, map. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just going forward into the unknown here. Uh, unfortunately, no hero shrines. Unless this unknown is a hero shrine, which I'm probably going to try and take the unknown. Take central route. Uh, it's Tokyo Drift through these flames. Ugh! No. You missed. Oh! Hero shrine. Perfect. Thank you. 
Whose Hero Shrine are we going to do? That is the question. Um, because we have three new characters. You know what? I'm interested in uh, Bonnie's backstory. Runaway. Chapter one. The pigs of Saint Martha's. Okay. Something. Ah. Ah, lovely. She would escape their cruelty at last. Marked location. This rank may be searched. Hide? That's all I can do. This location may be searched. Um, immobilized, cannot be moved. Okay. Impudent child. Alright, well, we dodged at least. Show yourself! Alright. So this place is now stuck. But all right, all right. out of position, skill blocked. Okay, pass, I guess. We just hide. Come out or else. Show yourself. Alright. Um So we could advance up one. Alright, so this is just a oh man, but we get like stress if that happens. Okay. Show yourself, okay, against these two. Alright, then we don't want to do that. Uh, so this will de-stress, but it'll strip us of our next turn. Can I just pass? I'm just gonna pass, because we need to get close. We need to pickpocket her. Um, Alright, good. So now we can advance. Tiptoe forward. She does get stressed when tiptoeing, okay. But we can safely avoid this. This is... Interesting. Kind of like it. Okay, so we gotta stay here. Um, I could hide, but no. I don't want to. We're just gonna pass. Okay. Don't do it on there again. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I... You know what? We're just gonna hide. It's fine. 75% chance to dodge. Hopefully... Oh my... She is landing it on me. Okay, good. I dodged it. Is that just like, you get hit by that, you lose? Is that how that works? Okay, why are you doing this? Oh, and I'm stuck. This is bad. Yeah, this is real bad. Okay, good. It's not an instant kill. Show yourself. Ah, oh, god damn it. I think I just have to pass. Can't hide. Be real nice if you didn't target the first one. Please. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Is she just going to continuously target the first section here? No, it doesn't look like... Okay, there we go. So now we can move up. Move up to here. Get out of the way. Um, yep. Okay, we're gonna get hit, but at the same time, we gotta do what we do. We stole a key. That's good. Now what happens? What do I do? Do I need a gate key? Key to one of several locks on the orphanage door. Do I just need to stay hidden now? I, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, steal the three keys! Oh my god. Really? Okay. I just screwed myself. <laughs> okay. It's, uh, it's tricky. It's tricky business. Yeah, we, we passed, but that's fine. We're not uh, getting hit. And we get to keep this dodge token for next time. So, should be okay. Good. Now we can safely advance while keeping the dodge token. Hopefully we just don't get caught up on the, uh, first rank all this time again. Okay, yeah. Annoying. We pass. We lose that dodge token. That's unfortunate. Will you stop that? Pass. Yep, nothing happens. 
What? God. Yeah, a little... Okay. Some, some of these encounters are more exciting. This just seems kind of tedious. I'm going to be honest. Not a big fan of this. You know what? I'm advancing. I'm going to take the hit. I don't care. I think I can manage. Unless... Yeah. See? Unless she does that. Oh, man. This is pretty obnoxious. Okay, we'll hide. Hope we don't get hit. Alright, she didn't even attack me in the right place. That's good. Okay. Uh, yeah, nothing we can do. Yeah, so if she starts spamming, attacking the first thing, it's... Yeah. See, now this happens again, and... Well, I mean... Ah, now I can't move... Why does that... Ah, it strips away the dodge that's really annoying. Well, we gotta grab this key. Okay, I'm glad that moves us back, so we've got two keys. Yep, we, uh... We pass. Gotta wait. You not do it on that one, thank you very much. Tiptoe forward. Like, this is quite easy. It's just a very tedious encounter. Like, I wish if the damage was higher and you just had to steal, like, one key or something. And maybe you could only take, like, two hits from it. I don't know. Would, would be better. This is a, a very annoying RNG encounter. Like, it's 20, 27 rounds. For something that's just super RNG based. Okay, here at least I got lucky. And I now am in position to win. Like, I, I, this wasn't challenging at all. It's just long and not, not very fun. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, so we won. She ran blindly into the rain. The squeals of the pursuing sisters lost in the howling wind. I like this, I like the outfits. I really hope, um, because of the way they've, like, done the characters that we might get, like, more skins for the characters. So skins from the backstories or even just, like, different skins. Um, I mean, obviously modders are going to have their way through it. Though I don't know if we're going to see the same, like, level of modding. Because, of course, the advantage of the 2D sprites in Darkest Dungeon 1 is that they're quite easy to do. Like, I can even make some. Uh, I can implement them into the game because I don't know how to do the uh, the coding stuff for it, but I could pretty easily make the art assets for a character because, like, I, I've done that style of art if you uh, check out my, unfortunately, uh, unfinished audio narrative series, The Broken Covenant. The, uh, the thumbnail and, uh, like, cover art for that I, I did myself, kind of in the Darkest Dungeon style, so... <laughs> it's, uh... But yeah, with uh, Darkest Dungeon 2, because it's all 3D, I think it's going to require quite a bit more work from modders to do. But, I don't know, I'm looking forward to it. I, I, I really can't wait till we get more uh, like modded characters, or modded skins for characters that'll help with a lot of stuff. But yeah, so we get a new skill, which uh, I didn't look at. Let's look at it. Ransack, huh? Um... Sends her forward and pulls the target forward. Is that... I'm not sure if that's better than any... Well, it might be better than... This. Although this stealth star, which is... Gonna be pretty nice. If she's at low health. Yeah, I don't know about this skill. We'll see what it mod modifies into. Like, maybe uh, when you upgrade it, it becomes good. But right now, it's... Eh. Okay, we go straight. We'll avoid uh, combat encounters at the moment. Our loathing isn't high, so. See what we get in here. Ah, road battle. Yeah. I wish there was a way to find out, like. Or even if it was just, like, a chance for road battles. Oh, God, a ghoul. Uh. Yeah, we need to burn the ghoul down. <laughs> uh, chug some laudanum first. 
I'm gonna actually do run and hide right now, because I'm gonna have her use Firefly. And she is going to ounce of, uh, no, blinding gas on these two. We gotta get them blinded. So these two, this is, this is just awful, like, threat. E everything here is horrible. Like, the ghoul is horrible, that one's horrible. She's probably the least threat, but she's still pretty bad. And this, this ability, oh god. So now it's stealthed. <laughs> um, she's blinded. We could try and blind him. No, we missed, unfortunately. Keeping the enemies blind. Uh, wow. Okay, nice. She took the hit for, uh... Steady yourself. Yeah, she took... Oh, man. She's stunned. That's nasty. Real nasty. Um, so we could battlefield medicine her. But at the same time, I'd rather blight grenade them. Oh, they resisted them. Damn. Yeah! That's some stress. Oh, boy. This is a rough encounter, not gonna lie. We're not doing super hot. Alright, she can Firefly. No, she can't. She's in the front rank again. She got moved. Um, that's Smokescreen. Could blind the ghoul? No, but he's like... You know what? I'm gonna blind him. He's, he does a lot of stress. Yeah, and we, we really need to start doing some damage here. Um, Alright. Guess that qualifies as damage. Horror. Yeah, not good. He needs to get battle balloting, because, uh... Plague Doctor here, you're a little bit... Yeah, not battle ballad. Inspiring tune, but damn it! You're not in the right place for inspiring tune. Uh, that's okay, though. Um... I'm gonna actually then do slice off, try and chew up one of these dodge tokens. I hate that this thing gets that many dodge tokens. It's very concerning. Um, ounce of prevention. There we go. Reduce some stress from two of the characters. Gruesome reflection. Get me more horror. Yeah, thank you. Give me all of the horror. I love horror. Uh, I have healing salves. I think I'm gonna use them. Let's heal her up. You can Iron Swan her, please. She's pissing me off with this horror. <laughs> Ghoul for last. Not normally something you do, but oh my god, look at that bleed. Firefly. Thank you. Are you dead? No, you're still gonna be alive for one turn. Ugh, unless I do something. Ounce of prevention! <laughs> or battlefield medicine. Sorry, wrong thing. Immediately. Thank you. Ugh. Do not like. Alright, let's just kill her. Yeah. Good. Like each other. Ow. It's got three dodge tokens. Which I'm not a fan of. I'm gonna be honest. You have a lot of stress. Let's, uh... Strip off some of those dodge tokens. Get some burn tokens. God, it's got a lot of health. I mean... You know, why wouldn't it have a lot of health? <laughs> can we blind it? Nope, but we can strip another dodge token. That's fine. Please. Oh, it's final round. Oh my god. This is horrible. I don't honestly know how... One is supposed to... <laughs> I don't know, win here. Yeah, we're just gonna... These guys are gonna escape. That's just the truth of the matter here. There will be no blood left for the leeches. No. Tell me about it. Heal, yeah. 16 health, please. Um... Yeah, of course it's gonna dodge. Okay, Plague Doctor, Ounce of Prevention. Ah, oh, it's on cooldown. That's rough. Alright. Land that heal then, and that's basically all we can do. Uh, she can battlefield medicine herself, and we're gonna be kinda stressed out. Yeah. That was unfortunate. We got nothing out of that, aside from pain. 
And another road encounter. What I was saying is there needs to be a way that you can see a chance for road encounters. Because otherwise, some of these objectives are just like, you succeed or fail by RNG. As far as I'm aware. Uh, let's not fight this. Uh, you want to get the hell out of here. You want to fight. A retreat ballot? No. Uh, Bonnie, let's just get us out of here. We don't want to deal with that. By the skin of our damn teeth. Yeah. We're a little bit too stressed out right now. We need to make it to the inn. Besides, you unlocked a, uh, a skill. That being said, I don't know if you need to make it to the next inn in order to keep the skill. Uh, I may have just been reading into that wrong. Previous goes. Alright, we're... Okay. We're gonna find a supply cache. That'll be... That'll be nice. The academic's cash. Put it to good use. Yeah, that is an impressive haul. Triage kit. Okay. Big heal, huh? Alright. De-stressing. Uh, yeah. That's, that, that's good. I, what is that resistance again? I don't know. Uh, all of this is... All of this is good. I'll take it. Gonna take it. What's our situation here? Yeah, battlefield items. Uh, Paracelsus, I'm going to give her... I, uh, do I give her the triage kit? No, I'm just going to give her the regular healing kit. And I'll give her the triage kit. Give her the, the big thick heals. Right, actually, we still have more combat items, and you do not have a combat item equipped because you used yours. Um, what do we have? Uh, you have clear corpses. You have a stealth removal. No, we're going to get this remove negative tokens thing. So, Menti, do you have combat item equipped? Yeah, you have your uh, burned salve, which we should keep. The hoarder to trade, unknown or unknown? Ooh, good question. What's our? Uh... Nah, we're going. We're going straight forward. I don't care about the hoarder. Um, actually, let's see what's like beyond. Actually, is there like? There's a hero shrine somewhere. Nah, let, let's keep to the center, and then we'll go to that unknown. Then get through this uh, assistance encounter. <laughs> Let me out of this blasted coach! <laughs> no, trust me. You don't want to get out here. Look, those guys weren't in coaches. Look what happened to them. They're flayed, filleted, and uh. Anything else that is similar to that? Alright, an assistance encounter. Good. We can keep our torch high. Hopefully we don't have to rob them. All right, yeah, we need to get our torch high. Um, plus 30 torch? Yeah, just do it. I don't care what the other ones are. This is the best option. Nice, two more triage kits. Okay, buff some blight resist. I like, I like. Uh, triage kits, I gu I'm guessing stack only two, but let's find out. Maybe they stack three. That'd be really good. Nope, you have the wrong one. You have the triage kit. Yeah, it only stacks with two. Um, use the one. Keep the two in reserve. Alright, I like that. The torch is back up and running. The loathing is still only festering. That's good. Don't want it to do too much more than fester. Like rats in a trap. Hey, come on now. At least we can move. And, um, yeah, more, uh, more corpses. Can't help but notice those corpses are a bit smaller than normal. Yeah, we actually have, all right? All right, everybody wants to help out, which is good. Humans tend to exude positive errors in brighter climbs, all right? Uh, no, let, let's trade, yeah. Uh, this, everybody will like this, uh, regardless of how we do it. Let's have Boudicca. The Wainwright awaits. Yours for taking. To fly his trade. Oh, that's good. That's also good. That's also good. Food is good. All of this is good. Alright, cool. Yes, 84 torch. Nice. And then we are going to have um, a. Uh, see, look. Like, 
we now do not complete this side objective, and there's literally nothing I could have done about it. I don't like this at all. Please, Red Hook, institute a way so that we can control this a little bit better to make it more, you know, do we risk failing this for certain rewards or... Yeah, don't make it a random thing. It's just not... It's not fun. It's just frustrating. Because you can't avoid these. Ah, the Antiquarian. She searches the dying world. Let's get revenge. Keys to her own salvation. Yeah. We are fully healed. How the hell did that happen? Not complaining, but... How did that happen? <laughs> uh... Let's get rid of the bleeder guy. Protect me! Yeah. Dazed, huh? Okay. No, uh, that's okay. Alright, we need to do some uh, inspiring tune. Alright. Blister crack shot. Or blister shot. Yeah. Um, a little below. Alright. Um, let's land a, a big thick blind here. Okay. Why didn't that... Did it just fail? Okay, whatever. Um, so we got... No, we can't iron swan them, unfortunately. So you're in the wrong place. You can remove the combo token off of yourself, because combo tokens are not nice. Let's deliver a wicked hack to him, see if we can take him down quickly. Okay, who, who the hell are you being protected by? Just him. Shell shock. Yeah. Oh man. We need to we need to deal with the stress. Okay, we don't need to do anything there. Um, you're taking two. All right, this should yeah he'll be dead next turn. Good. Um. See this move with the five plus stress requirement only reducing stress and having a cooldown, I feel, is not very good. Like, this should... Like, we need to have ways to reduce stress before it's at 5 without it being just, like, a character-specific ability. Like, obviously, Grave Robber can de-stress herself. And as, to my knowledge, that's the only one. At least with the base ability set. Which means there's no way to stop stress from hitting 5 without using consumable items. And I understand why they nerfed Outs of Prevention. Like, okay, that... Like, as we saw from my last playthrough, that made stress a basically ignorable mechanic. Uh, fair. But this needs to be better. This this is just not very good. Um, maybe as an upgrade, it's better. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll see. But right now, I feel like Inspiring Tune in its base form is crap. It's just... Because I, I can't manage my stress, uh, especially if it's a, a cooldown-based ability. And you should be able to manage your stress. I feel like that is a necessary function in this game. Because as soon as it gets too high, you start to have serious problems. Nice. Festering vapors. Oh my god. Brutal. Massive AoE blight. Alright, um. Can't Firefly. We can do Fire Poker. Let's get rid of that one. Alright. Well, that's one way to do it. Good job, guys. Girls. Protect me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're l I'm saving you for last. Don't you worry. Uh, yeah. Psh, that did nothing. 
Okay, so now I can Inspiring Tune. Um, I'm gonna use it on myself. Down to five stress, because that way she can use an ounce of prevention to remove three stress from the party. Steady yourself. Damn! That hits harder than it did in Darkest Dungeon 1. Because of course it does, because now you're an enemy. Yeah, let's get some bleeds on uh, on him. Gotta get rid of him somehow. Ugh. Not good. Not good at all. Pooh. We're getting messed up. Let's start using these, uh... I'm gonna triage her. It's, it's a good amount of health. Not gonna lie. Right, uh, you need to move back. Or we can blind her. It's not a bad idea, except it's only gonna- it's just gonna blind him, actually, so I'm gonna stealth, uh, stealth myself back. Alright, so now we can Iron Swan. This jerk! Okay. Um, I know we need to do some healing, and I'm gonna do it this way. But we also need to remove stress, and right now we have a good opportunity. Ah, I can't. Alright, then we're gonna use the healing medicine. Fine. Okay, good. Yep, still inflicting more stress and days. We're gonna we're very close to a meltdown, which is not ideal. And yeah, because this stupid move is on cooldown, there's nothing I can do about it. Which is just dandy. Um I'm gonna use Razor Wit to give myself a dodge. Because I need it. Respectful, you're welcome at my fire. Nice. You guys keep liking each other. That's great in my book. Let's uh, try and land as much. Nice. Well struck. I don't know, it feels like there's still just constant relationship barks that don't seem overly meaningful, so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know really how much they fixed. Feels like they maybe didn't fix as much as they claimed. <laughs> Alright, Death's Door. Nice. I love Death's Door. Especially when I'm at Death's Door. It's just, it's great fun. Slice off, please. Dodged. She's... dangerous. I'm not gonna lie. Should've used the health thing. That was dumb. Fine. We have health stuff here, which I'm going to use on him. Great. And, uh, yeah, we need to use ounce of prevention right now. So otherwise you're going to have a meltdown, which is not going to be ideal. But we should be able to get rid of her. This will be great. I would like very much to be rid of her. Can we, uh... We can blind you again. We'll try and blind you again. Smoke screen. Nope. Keeps resisting. Okay, maybe don't take notes on the, you know, ones that are misses, but, I mean, I guess you do what you want. Alright. Battlefield medicine, please. Yes. Nervous stab. Good. She's up close. Damn, that does a lot of damage. She's... She's really good. Yeah, Antiquarian has definitely, uh, gotten herself a buff. <laughs> Alright, you go play yourself a nice, uh, tune. See if we can reduce our stress a bit. Battlefield Medicine on the Jester. And you try and give her a good whack. Nope, unfortunately, this means she's gonna go again and is going to land Nervous Tap. But at least we stripped that, like, remaining dodge token that was on her away. Let's see if we can blind her. That would be... Fantastic. No, she resisted. What is her uh, resistance, actually? What is it? Um, yeah, okay, it's 55% debuff resist. Never mind. We shouldn't even be trying that. Um, I will land that. Get myself a dodge. You... Yeah, uh, use that. Use the regular healing salve. 
And then, uh, let's blight her. Oh man, she resisted that too. What's her bleed resist? Her bleed resist isn't great, but we can't bleed her, because it's not in the right place. So let's just try and damage her. She also has a respectable amount of hit points. Ah, well, this is annoying. Let's advance, then. <laughs> nice twirl! <laughs> Invigorating Vapors. Okay, that gives her this dodge. Alright, I'm fine with her doing that. So that's not... as good as the uh, Nervous Stab, because that gives her a better dodge, and... Alright! Inspiring Tune, removing the stress. Finally, we're getting into reasonable stress levels. Uh, ounce of Prevention will not remove further stress, so let's just try and blight her. Nice! She should be dead soon. See if we can land a uh, Fade to Black on her. Just for the damage. Nice, we even got the blind. Great. So, this should get rid of her. This is a reckoning coming, Antiquarian. You were the death of my second run. Maybe my first run. Can't remember. And now you're dead. Well, I don't know how I feel about killing former party members, but... She did betray us. I wish there was some sort of dialogue from the characters when dealing with former party members. That would be very cool. I don't know. feel like that's a missed opportunity. Maybe it'll get added later. Okay, fight no more than three road battles. I guess there's still a chance that we succeed. Again, still don't like the mechanic. Um, Alright. Combat items. Yeah. Uh, large heal, please. Thank you. You still have, you still have, you still have. Uh, except, I'm gonna give you stims. That sounds good on you. Just get a crap ton of damage. Alright, disease resistance. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Paracelsus, because, you know, you're a plague doctor and it makes sense. Didn't have any other trinkets, right? No. Just uh, the tavern, or the inn items. Alright, we're gonna have an assistance encounter. And then an unknown encounter, which is hopefully going to be a hero shrine or something. Let us hope their desperation can be eased. Yeah. What do we got here? A cheerful fire and some ale is all these folks need. Better to steal from kings and I'm hungry. No, we're not going to steal, okay? We are going to cheer them up. All right? I will be moral. Okay, a blind. Buffs burn resist. All right. Uh, the buffs burn resist... You know what, I'm going to equip that, because we're going to have the, uh, the den, or whatever, encounter coming up. And that is going to be against the, uh, fiery enemies. So actually, I'm going to give the buff burn resist to you, because it makes sense for you to have it. And then, hmm, yeah, you see, that's also good. I'm going to give the triage kit to Plague Doctor. All right. Over-encumbered. Yeah, of course. Let's let's ditch the slime mold. We don't need that. Um, we're still over-encumbered. Okay. Um, stagecoach items. So we have four. What do we currently have? Okay, so we have one storage trunk. We don't need more. And honestly, this... Because we just went through the sprawl. I'm going to get rid of it. And then we're just going to not go through the sprawl again. If we have the option of not going through the sprawl. Uh, keep all of the in items. Um, I'm going to ditch one of these holy waters. Definitely going to keep that. I'm going to remove this de-stealth, because that's not super useful. And, uh, yeah, the rest we can keep. By the way, apparently discarding items... Um, I read this on somebody else's uh, uh, guide. Uh, discarding items increases your hope, which is the like meta currency for unlocking the new stuff. Uh, so, actually, discarding items before you die is a valuable thing to do because it'll maximize what you get out of your um, next run or it'll maximize the hope you get for your next run all right we've got some dudes here um you want to leave and leave behind stuff you want to leave and reduce the torch which i'm not a fan of uh you want to use biological warfare against them um because i don't want to lose stuff we're gonna go with you paracelsus it's fine and, uh, hopefully this means they start off with some blights on them. Oh god, it's one of them. Alright, thankfully there's no self-explody guys. 
And there's only one zombie. Alright. Oh! That's good. They have penalties to blight resist. That's real nice. Um, so first thing, you inspiring tune Boudica. Fire rises. Okay. Yep. Dodge and strength tokens from that. I'm not a big fan. But let's, uh, well, since we have the option here, let's land some blight grenades. All right, that one was unfortunately resisted, but hey, we'll at least be able to blight you down. All right, you're stuck in rank two. That's, that's not the worst. Stimulants! Yes. Strength and speed. And iron swan. Nice damage. Very good. Um, ablative powder. So this will give burn resist. Oh, is this to everyone? Plus 40% burn resist? Or is it just to yourself? It's just to yourself. Okay. Well, it's something. No, we're gonna ignore the zombie. That's very much the threat of least resistance. I say when zombie does respectable damage against me. Ow. Yeah. Not nice. It's okay, we can land some more blights over there. And uh, let's continue iron swanning you. Good crit. Very good. One health. I like that. Let's land a blight grenade. Let's get you to death's door. And hopefully... Nope, did not blight her. Didn't blight him either, even with the resistance penalty. That's uh, mildly obnoxious. Alright, Razor's Wit. We'll send him forward. And um, we'll give him a dodge. We're going to do it on him. Really need to make sure we get rid of her. Oh! Ah. Fire flay, fire fly. Hmm. <laughs> okay, now you're stuck in rank one. Don't like that. That means you can't iron swan. And you're healing. And you're using burning skewer. Eh. Not a fan. Alright. Um... You know what this party really needs is like a an ability to strip tokens. Cause that I see as a weakness here. All right, let's land a, uh, a blind. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm taking damage. And most embarrassingly, it's the Zambi that's doing it. Um. If it bleeds. God, they're resisting everything. It's very annoying. Burning skewer. The slow suffering begins. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? We shall not survive. This I know. I I wouldn't count us out just yet. All right. I think we might be okay. Man, I need to be able to reach her. Yeah, we can land the burns on the... on the Zambi. Alright, please! Hit both of them. Thank you. Alright, they're both blighted. That should get rid of both of them. Very nice. Cleared their back line. And we're back in this. I was a bit worried there. So we weren't doing super hot. Alright, we need to start using some of these uh, items here. Uh, or we should use Ounce of Prevention. Now, I'm gonna use the item. Triage kit. To heal some, and then I'm gonna use Ounce of Prevention, because we have... A lot of stress all around the board. And we need to reduce that a bit. This is for you, friend. Good. Hate each other less. I like it. Man, I wish she had her, like, forward attack hit multiple enemies thing. Um, yeah, let's land those bleeds on, on, uh, on Zambi here. Um, and you can... Yeah, what can you do? You need to move back, actually. Can we... Yeah, let's... Let's try and, uh... Damn. Good damage. That should, uh, kill him. We gotta get rid of... Wow, he's got three reposts. <laughs> I don't like that you have three reposts. At all. Just, uh, make that clear here, alright? Can we blind you? That'd be real handy. Alright, great. That should help us. Respectful. Great. Um, so the issue here is, I don't, uh, I, there's not much I can do, though. I kind of have to. 
You know what? I could yop him. That'll weaken him. It'll make him do more, uh, do less damage, and he's still blinded, and it doesn't trigger a repost. Which is a double-edged sword, because I need to trigger the repost to get them out of the way, but at the same time, like... You can take it. Good. Glad that worked. Only two to get through. We need to use some battlefield medicine here. Let's heal her up. Yep. And you can uh, use Searing Strike. Good. That hit. Unfortunately, we got reposted, but you're very close to death. I'm very close to death. Ah, bleed and burn. All at once. Uh, haven't you heard of cauterization? That shouldn't be happening. Burn salve. Yes, use it. Extinguished at last. And, uh... Yeah, cut him. Very good. Repost that, bitch. Alright, we got a mastery. That's nice. Um, okay, we got some deep... Ah, nice. A speed, uh... A speed thingy. Yes. We'll call it that. We need that on a buffer, but unfortunately I don't have a character that does much buffing in this party. This... I will say, this is not a very good party, because these are... Two characters that really only help themselves. You have some support abilities, but it's mostly like defensive... I wouldn't say defensive support abilities, but more like reactive support abilities, both of them. Uh, like healing and de-stressing. I have nobody that buffs the party, um, which is a problem. But let's, um, let's replenish some of these items. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. Although... Honestly, it's not very good. It's just plus 40% burn resist, but it only applies to, like, one area. So, I don't know. I'm just not... I'm gonna give her the smoke bomb instead. I'm just gonna remove this. So it's not impressed with that item. That could be better. This could be, like, a party buff. Uh, the resists. Because they're so circumstantial. Like, you have to bring them into the right fight... But they don't remove stuff. Yeah, they last the whole fight. But I don't know. I don't feel like it's good enough. All right, we'll give them the, the healing stuff. Um, gotta get rid of two things. Oh, we got this. Um, I'm gonna give it to Sarmenti here. And we still need to get rid of one item. I'm gonna discard it. Like I said, I don't really like those. After testing it. <laughs> Great. They're not liking each other either. That's just delightful. Inventory full. What did we lose? Clotting powders? Yeah, alright. I'm okay with losing that. But at the same time, since we are at inventory full and we're losing stuff... Yeah, I'm going to remove that, because that's also... It's just a resistance item. Eh. You can only use one of those per turn. If you could stack four of them and then just, like, use all four of them to buff the entire party, I guess that would make it better. Oblivion's Rampart. God, I don't want to. No, I really don't want to. This ain't good. Just want to point that out. Use that. Heal her. And we gotta, we gotta get on the stress game here. She's very close to a meltdown. Alright, don't ounce of prevention just yet. I want her to, um... We want to blight grenade them, actually. I feel like getting rid of that is a little bit more of a priority than it was last time. Uh, let's... Ew, it'll probably dodge that, unfortunately. We could. This doesn't do damage. This burns, but they have very high burn resist. This will stealth her. Get her into the, get her into the back. I'm not sure if that was actually a very wise idea. Because her back line ability is also a burn, which they're resistant to. Um, but, eh, whatever. It is what it is. Mm, now you're all the way in the back. Don't like that as much. And Hellion's blinded, which is a problem, because I wanted to Iron Swan that bastard over there. Flame spreads. So it needs to get... Okay, so basically it moves to the front, and when it's at the front, it goes kaboom. 
I'm, I'm guessing that's how it works. All right, we don't want to use the stims because she might be missing here. I could yop them, but yopping them will leave me... Persist until end of combat. Ugh. It's actually not good. Yeah. Fuck your blinded token. <laughs> nice. Alright, um... Do we slice off for some bleeds here? Yeah, we gotta... We gotta work this guy down fast. I don't want him to do his thing. Alright, you're going? Um, I'm fine with you continuing to Iron Swan this jerk. We can get rid of him. Yeah, I mean, this enemy's just horrible. <laughs> Ugh, double dodge token already. Firefly it. It's got 55 burn resist, though. Alright, you know what? We're gonna, uh, blind it. Oh, that's a double blind token. That's really good, actually. Well, um... Ah, hell. Here goes nothing. Hey! Well, you got all three debuffs on you. Alright, it'll be dead next turn. We don't need to worry about it. Because it's just gonna move forward and then it'll die on its own. Cool. Um, you need a heal. It's gonna remove both of those, which is super nice. Clutch. Unfortunately, we also need stress healing real soon. Um, you should actually move back. See if we can. Nope. All right. Unfortunate. Please stop. God. It's horrible. I don't like you being up front. That was kind of uh, poorly timed. Um, just no way to advance. Right? Yeah. It's kind of bad. Run and hide, or... Ah, nothing... Nothing really we can do here. That'll put him in the back. That doesn't help me all that much. No, we'll just continue, uh... Hey! It's, she's at least piercing their, uh... Burn resist. Which is something. Um... Phew. What to do? Yeah, we op them. Strip their, uh, tokens. Triage kit. On her. Sounds like a reasonable course of action. And then I want to move back. And then she can advance next turn. Yes. Oh, God. So much for that. Well, at least we get some inspiring tune action. Ow! It's a lot of damage. Well, that wasn't that much damage, actually. It's not so bad. Okay, this is good. We can blind it. Smoke bomb. Land another firefly here. Hey! No, it resisted. Okay. As expected. Whip trip. You gonna pull me? Okay. Um. Annoying. It's literally, like, the worst. Um, you'll go forward. Yeah, you see, you can take the, uh, it's, ah, oh, but you, now you're stuck there? God! Obnoxious. Yeah, I should have realized that that's how that was gonna work, but I didn't. Let's get rid of him. With his annoying party position control that he's got going on here. Okay, I'm very glad the blind worked. We need to blind him again. Which Jester can do. They fade to black. Okay. Unfortunately, he resisted. And we didn't move. Oh my god. And he still has a repost, which I don't want to have land on Plague Doctor because she's still so injured. <laughs> this is rough business. We've been surviving these battles with the skin of our teeth. Alright, we can't advance because... <laughs> yeah. Because she's immobilized. Uh, respectful. Well, at least you're still friends. <laughs> Not really much you can do. 
Oh my god, that is so obnoxious that it doesn't move you and it just keeps you immobilized. All right. Is that my skin? <laughs> Not anymore. Your skin's burning off, mate. Ah, uh, but this will put Plague Doctor in front, which I... Can we... What is it? Still puts Plague Doctor in front, but at least you're in closer in front now. You can do something potentially useful. You can do absolutely nothing. God, this is annoying. This will not move me back, but it can blind you, which... Yeah, alright. Very, very nice. Well struck, indeed. That's a really good move. The double, double turn blind. Are you finally de You're still immobilized. It's ridiculous. She still can't do anything. Just remove that corpse. Alright. You're no longer immobilized. Great. Inspiring tune, because you're burning to death. Because you're stressed, actually. But it doesn't help with the burning. These enemies are horrible. Now it has two riposts again. Jesus. Well, let's hope we chew through it with the blind. Thank you. That's that's clutch. You, I don't want you to do anything related to that, because you'll just die. Or at least go to death's door. Hellion, I mean, you can take a hit. At the same time, I feel like it's better if we weaken it. You're gonna die if you do anything. Uh, let's move her up. Let's battle ballad. Get her to the front. Typical. Overlooked again. You want to go into the front, huh? I, I question your judgment there, Plague Doctor. Yeah, we need that. Ah, I should have used a triage kit or a healing thing. Oh my god. Yeah, this is not a very good party comp. I'm just saying that right now. I just wanted to try out the new characters, and <laughs> they're just not good in this composition. <laughs> I'm sure they're good elsewhere. Ugh. Razor's wit. Gotta kill it eventually, right? You need to use battlefield medicine. Yeah, use it on her. Oh, I forgot to use the uh, item again. It's fine. Kind of like half at the level, or at the point of like, I don't really care if we die this run. I mean, at the same time, I do want to make it to the inn. Nice. We actually got through its dodge there. Because if we make it to the inn, we can uh, heal and de-stress ourselves. So, all right. We made it past this. Escape. No, we are not doing the next battle. No, thank you. We will not survive. <laughs> Let's get to the inn. Goodbye. That was awful. You're over-encumbered yet again. What a surprise. Um, but hey, we got room for items now. Uh, yeah, you take the blind bomb. Those are the smoke bombs are super nice. Um, how about items? Why don't you take? No, we don't need to clear corpses. Uh, yeah, you get the clear blind. That's good. You get the purge negative tokens, and you still have stims. All right, so we can advance. We have four mastery points. That'll be good. So I can at least test out the uh, skills of some of the other characters. Buffoon! Who are you calling a buffoon? Alright. We'll make it. Yeah, that's the inn right up ahead. Okay, that's not the inn right up ahead. That's the inn right up ahead. Alright. Well, that was, that was a bit tense. Um... Let's go through and spend the stuff, and then then we'll end the episode. Alright. Okay. They're doing the, uh... New innkeepers per place. Uh... Cool. Cool. Alright, so we got some stuff. We got some new quirks. Let's look at them. You got on guard. Two dodges and a plus speed at combat start. Alright. That is a very good quirk. See, so yeah, you already had that, and you had this, which was bad. Clutch hitter. When hit points are below 50%, deal plus 10% crit. 
when hit points are below 25% chance. Plus 5% crit, plus 30% damage. Is that against an enemy? And then the enemy gains the vulnerable on hit? Or do I gain the vulnerable on hit when I am... I don't know. It, no, it makes it seem like it's it affects you, but that doesn't make sense with, like, narratively with Bloodthirsty. Like, Bloodthirsty would make more sense if it was the enemy that had less hit points and you did more damage against them. But whatever, I guess we'll see. Uh, enthralled with cults and their trappings. Okay. Um, yeah, you got that, which is whew, awesome. Hellion, you got Pacifist. Yeah, all right, you, you already had that, actually. Um, which was not great. Stress Knitter, okay, still don't know what that does. And Sneaky, plus one speed and 25% chance to get a stealth token at combat start. You don't have anything that stacks with stealth. I reckon you will at some point. Um, because you have a, a self-stealth ability. But nothing that really, like, benefits from it. Yeah, all right. Well... Um, Masteries. First course of action. Oh, hello. Region goal completed. So we did complete the goal. Chance to stress heal a random hero at each road segment. That sounds excellent. Your coach must be Equipping that immediately. <laughs> and then we're going to equip these storage trunks. Can we uh, shift click to discard? Indeed. Let's get rid of it. Alright. And then we will use some of this stuff on the characters. Bonus to resistances, but I don't know what resistance this is. I've got two of them. Let's give it to our two frontliners, or to our two typical frontliners. We've got some de-stress, um, but let's actually look at this. Calming incense I can use between two recipients. Let's see if we can use it between Bonnie and Paracelsus. Nice. And we've got two... Items that reduce stress by one. Alright, stun resist. We do not want Paracelsus being stunned, ever. Because she's, like, party saver. So if there's ever an instance where, like, somebody's at death door and she's stunned, that's not good. A chance of purging a negative quirk. You have a bad negative quirk. It's not the worst. That's not the worst. This is not great. That is not the worst, though. Yeah, which one do we want to get rid of? I, I feel like using both of them on Plague Doctor. Just to maximize the chance of removing that. No, on, uh, sorry, on Jester. Sarmenti, because he has the, the chance of being blinded on hit, which is awful. <laughs> did he get rid of it? It did! Alright. Okay, so apparently the chance, I mean, uh, I've, I have a one-to-one... -one one out of one uh, trial ratio, so uh, statistically, <laughs> I don't know what the chance is, but it seems like the chance is at least good. All right, let's try and get rid of this. It did. All right, well, that's a two out of two. That's not bad. And we can reduce stress by three here. I'm going to use it on Paracelsus. And for some whittling tools, we can... Ah, uh, can't be used on her. And then, do I save it? I think I save it. We can increase max HP. I want to use on Boudicca and Bonnie. Nice. Make them a bit tankier. Then you guys can just chow on all the stale bread. Mmm. Delicious. Maybe have some apples and cheese while you're at it. You can have some stale bread. Some more stale bread. Alright, you got bad digestion. What does that give? 33% chance food has no benefit. You know, then we use the rest of the stale breads on her. Alright. Um, Sarmenti. There you go. Give him some cheese. Some more stale bread. And some more stale bread. Very good. Delicious. Paracelsus. You get a cheese. Another cheese. And let's finish up this stale bread. Okay. That's good. Alright. Mastery Trainer. Here's the fun stuff. So, about these skills that I thought were not very good. What does this give? Okay, this stacks with combo, but she doesn't do combo. Hearth light. Okay, this is a remove stealth from enemies and remove blind from allies. That's kind of good. Uh, this is her stealth, which gives her a self-heal. 
small self heal. That's okay. Smokescreen? Oh my god. Inflicting combo and vulnerability in two blinds? Yes, please. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna hold out, hold off for you for now. So, this will remove horror. Yeah, okay, that makes it a bit better. I still feel like it's not that great. That's, I don't feel like that's very good. Fade to black. This will blind and inflict a combo. And we'll move him back. Not bad. Not bad at all. That'll inflict combo and move him forward. Okay, well here's how we get our combo tokens at least, but I'm gonna hold off. Uh, Hellion, this will just do more damage, this is low priority. Iron Swan, more damage. Slightly higher priority, but not that much. Um, this can do... is that a stun? Like, it looks like the stun token, but the stun token's yellow. So I don't know what that is. And it inflicts two weakens. Okay. It's all right. Ignores thirty percent bleed resist. That's okay. Toe to toe. Aha! So this removes the weaken from Yop. Very cool. Gives her three taunts. Yeah, that, that's that's actually then quite good. Because then we can level up Yop. Hell yeah. Let me give Hellion these two. So yeah, we have a lot of characters that, like, buff themselves in this party, but unfortunately we don't really have... Oh god. See, that's good. But completing it without... Okay, avoiding the hoarder is fine. We'll do that. Um... The provisioner. We need we need stuff, alright? No, let's get a dark board. Sounds good to me. And we can get some good items. 25% chance to stealth at the start. Uh, this will ooh, combat start, 75% chance of getting a oh. For Hellion. Oh boy. Yeah, give me that. We got 35 left. Could give this to Hellion as well. Right? Or that. That's also good. That's only going to affect one attack. I feel like this is going to have better long-term benefits. Um, but let's, let's equip them. I'm going to equip them both to her. Melee attacks here. Yes, please. And 20% max HP. So where do I dish out these trinkets now? Um, why don't you get the, uh, the max HP? And the crit can go to Jester. Yeah. Give you the speed and the crit. Range attacks plus 15% damage in the disease resist. Alright, we're gonna ditch that disease resist. I haven't encountered any diseases yet. Or, I think I encountered one in my uh, first run, but that's it. So I don't know how prevalent diseases are in this game. In which case, do you need to worry about them that much? I don't know. Um, if indeed it ever did. Yeah, let's get more playing cards, because I want to... Um, or get more stuff to try and improve affinity. So we got the dartboard here. Two targets with stress reduction. I'll give it to you two. Nice. High chance of improving affinity. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. That's good. Um, I still have 20, 20 monies left. Yeah, that's what they're called. Chance of purging a negative quirk. I mean, this was pretty useful. For sure. Um, you have bad digestion and boisterous. You have no negative quirks. You have a cultomania. No, I'm just going to use it on her. See what happens. Cool. Uh, did that remove one? It did. And we still have that, but I'm going to hold on to that. And hold on to the rest of our money. Or eight money. Uh, actually, let's see. Is there anything we can grab here for the provisioner? This so we have stun resist. I'll give bleed resist. We're going through the what? 
We're going through the Tangle next, so that's mostly Blights. But there were some Bleeds. I don't know. I, probably not worth it to get the, uh, the Bleed Resist bonus. Um... Yep, I think we save our money. Right? Right. Alright guys, that's what we're going to call it today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, remember to leave that like and subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed and you haven't already left a like, it helps me out a ton. It uh, keeps the dreaded YouTube algorithm at bay. And uh, more will be coming soon. I'll catch you later.